Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. So today in this tutorial we are discussing about the shell sort program. In the previous tutorial we discussed about the shell sort algorithm. I will give you the link in the description box. Go and check that. So today we are writing the program. So first in the Python file we need to take the input right. We need list of number to sort them. So for that I will take a list. I'll take list name as list one and I can directly take the list of numbers or I can take the user input. So here first I'll ask okay so first I'll ask the user to enter how many numbers he want in the list so that is the list length next here i'll use the list comprehension method to take the input int input num so here i took int input because i want integer as the input in python 3 by default input function will take string input but here we want numbers that is integer numbers that's why here I took int input. So this is the list comprehension method here we are taking the input from the user. Next so we have numbers now we need to sort them. So for that what I'll do is I'll define the shell sort function and I'll call that function whenever I want to sort the list of number using shell sort algorithm. Here I want to call that function. So before calling that function, I need to define that function, right? So here I'll define the function. So before calling any function, we need to define that. So that's why at the beginning of the script, I'll define the function. So df and I'll give the function name as shell sort. You can give any name and we need a list. To sort the number first we need numbers and that number will be in the list okay here I took the list name as a list you can take any name here this is the parameter to this function next inside this function body so in the shell sort algorithm first step is take the input that is already done next step is find out the gap or incrementer so I need to find out the gap now so I'll take the variable name as gap itself and here I'll take the formula length of a list truncated division 2 so to find out the gap we'll use this formula total length of the list truncated division 2 we can find out this gap in different ways but here we are using this method fine we got the gap now what so first I'll take a while loop okay because there is a condition in the algorithm when gap becomes zero stop everything that means sorting is done stop everything till gap becomes zero we need to divide the list to sublist and we need to sort them so that's why here i'll take a while condition and i'll check whether gap is greater than zero if gap is greater than zero then only divide the list into sublist then sort them using the insertion sort algorithm if suppose the length of a list is one so it contains only one element then one truncated division two so we'll get zero okay gap becomes zero so list contains only one element no need to sort them okay stop everything so no need to execute this while loop body as we can see in the algorithm we need to take the gap we need to reduce the gap each time when gap becomes zero i need to stop that that's why i took this condition this is the stopping condition for this function all right so next if gap is not zero then what to do here we can see the example it contains the nine elements okay so gap is nothing but four nine truncated division two so we'll get four so four is not zero four is greater than zero so while condition satisfy then what what i need to do is i need to take the sublist now that is nothing but i need to compare the 54 with the one two three four the gap is four so 77 and 1 2 3 4 20 so these are the sublist first I need to take 77 as the current element because we are sorting this number using insertion sort algorithm 
So I need to take 54 as the sorted part and I need to take 77 as the current element because we are sorting the sublist and sublist contains 54, 77 and 20. So 77 is the next element. So I need to take this as the current element. So I need to check whether 77 is smaller than 54. If true, I need to move 54 right side. That's what we did in the insertion sort algorithm, right? We are repeating the same step now. I need to place 77 in the correct index. Next, I need to check 20 with the sorted part elements. So for this first here, I'll take a for loop. This for loop is because the sublist may contain two element, three element or more than three element, right? We need to go through the each element of the unsorted part one by one and we need to compare that with the sorted part. Like we did in the insertion sort program, I need to take the for loop here. If you see insertion sort program, you can see the for loop first inside that while loop, right? Here also we need to do the same thing. Alright, so here I took the for loop and index is the variable name and I took range as gap to length of list one. So in the insertion sort program, if you check that with this program, in that I took the range as one to length of list one. We are checking the value with the adjacent values in the insertion sort program. But here we are checking the element from the gap. So in the insertion sort algorithm, I'll take 54 as the sorted part and I'll check whether 26 is less than 54, right? We'll check the adjacent value. That's why I took the range from one to length of list one, the total length. But here we are checking 54, 77 and 20. Okay. I'm not checking the adjacent value. I'm checking the sublist value. Okay. So 77 is present here. This is the gap here. Okay. So that's why here gap is nothing but four. That's why I took range from four to length of list one. It will start from here four and till the length of list one. Okay, here, here if you want, you can mention the step also, but here I don't take step, but I'll include that condition later. Next, I need to take the current element like we did in the insertion sort algorithm. So I need to take a list of i. To understand this, you need to watch the insertion sort program. I'll give you the link in the description box. Okay. So first we need to take the current element right in the insertion sort program. So the current element is a list of i, a list of index, sorry. So here a list of index is nothing but here index will start from gap. In our program gap is nothing but four. So a list of four. So that is nothing but this is the list name, a list, a list of four is nothing but 77. So this is the current element now. Okay. Next we need another variable right position and that will be index why position position is required for the while loop condition position will tell how many elements are present in the sorted part when we need to stop comparing the values so next here i'll take while loop right to check the condition like i want to check whether current element is less than or equal to the sorted part element so for that we'll take while loop and we need to know when we need to stop this while loop. For that, we'll use this position index. This position is nothing but the index of the sorted part element here. So here I'll check position should be always greater than or equal to gap. And I'll check whether current element is less than. You can include equal symbol also here. If current element is less than a list of position minus gap okay so now what is this condition so current element is nothing but now this okay 77 i need to compare 77 with 54 so how to write this 54 i need to write a list of some index index is zero but i can't directly write it as a list of zero because we are writing the general condition there so that's why i wrote a list of position minus gap so here gap is four position is also four here in the program, right? Position is nothing but index that is also four here. So if I take position minus gap, then that becomes zero. 
So that is nothing but a list of 0. That is nothing but 54. Here we can see gap is 4 in our program. So index is 4 initially. So position becomes also 4. So 4 minus 4. So a list of 0. So we are checking current element with the a list of 0. If current element is less than a list of 0 or we can say the a list of 0 is greater than the current element then I need to write a list of so now a list of position minus gap is greater than the current element then I need to move the a list of position minus gap value right side that is something but in this place if 77 is smaller than 54 then I need to move this 54 here okay in this position this position is nothing but a list of position so index for this is position okay that's why I wrote like this I'll explain you the working of the program after writing this program you'll understand that this condition is the stopping condition and here position is equal to position minus gap so in the insertion sort program here we write position is equal to position minus 1 because in that we were uh, comparing the adjacent value but here we need gap here so that's why position minus gap so next if this condition become false okay if the current element is greater than the a list of position minus gap so then leave as it is so here a list of position is equal to current element This is same as the insertion sort code but here we are using the gap right that's why we need to mention the gap okay so next here in the while condition after completing this I need to reduce the gap so I'll take gap equal to gap truncated division 2 so this is because after one pass I need to reduce the gap right here we can see after this pass here we reduce the gap right that's what we did here so this is the shell sort function and here we can call that now shell sort list one here i'm passing list one because here we can see the list name is list one all right so next you can print the sorted list so now if i save this and run this list length so if I enter 9, alright, so I need to enter the 9 elements now. 54, 17, 20, 26, 31, 44, 54, 55, 77 and 93. All the elements are in the ascending order right so for the descending order you need to take here okay you need to change this symbol i'll enter only four elements Eighty-nine, fifty-six, thirty-three, 56 33 and 3 all right so this is the shell sort program Alright, so now I'll explain you the working. So first, here we can see this will be executed because this is the function definition. The function definition will be executed only when it is called. Till now it is not called, it is just a definition. So program will execute from here. So num int input list length. So it will ask the user to enter the list length. You can enter 9, 5, whatever you want next list one so it will take the num elements next we'll call this shell sort function and we are passing the list one so it will now go to this shell sort function definition so here we can see a list become the list one okay so next it will execute this function body first gap so it will check length of a list truncated division two if i enter the nine element it will become four so next it will check while loop whether 4 is greater than 0 true right so it will execute this for body and range become gap to length of list 1 
gap is 4, length of list 1 is 9. So we will get 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So next current element becomes a list of index. Index value is 4 first, so a list of 4. So current element will become a list of 4. So a list of 4 is nothing but 77. So current element becomes 77. Position become index that is nothing but 4. So next we will check while condition whether position is greater than or equal to gap. So gap is 4, position is 4, it is equal. So this condition satisfies. And condition and current element is less than a list of position minus gap. So current element is nothing but 77 and the a list of position minus gap. Position is 4, gap is 4. So a list of 0 that is nothing but 54. So whether 77 is less than 54? No, right? This condition become false. If this condition become false, entire condition become false. So while loop won't execute its body, it will come out of this while loop and it will execute this. So a list of position is equal to current element. So it will put this current element that is nothing but 77 in the a list of position that is nothing but in the index of 4. So 77 will be placed in the same index. Now again this for loop will execute for index 5. Okay. So a list of index. So a list of 5. So that is nothing but 31. So position will be 5. So it will check whether position is greater than or equal to gap. Here position is 5, gap is 4. Yes, it is true. So it will check whether current element that is nothing but 31 is less than a list of position minus gap. Position is 5, gap is 1. So a list of 1. So it will check whether 31 is less than 26. No, right? So, so it won't execute the while body. It will just execute this. It will place 31 in the same index. Again, for loop will execute for the index 6. So now a list of 6 that is nothing but 44. So current element is 44. Position is 6. So it will check whether 6 is greater than or equal to gap. Gap is 4. Yes, true. So it will check whether current element that is nothing but 44 is less than a list of position minus gap. Position is 6. Gap is 4. So a list of 2. So that is nothing but 93. It will check whether the 44 is less than 93 true right so here it will execute this while body a list of position that is nothing but a list of 6 is equal to a list of position minus gap so it will move the 93 right side in this position it will move 93 to the sixth index next it will decrement the position by position minus gap so position is 6 gap is 4 so position become 2 so again it will execute the while body it will check whether position is greater than or equal to gap position is 2 gap is 4 no so it won't execute it will come here position value is 2 now a list of 2 it will insert the current element in the a list of 2 so that is nothing but it will place 44 in the a list of 2 we can see this swapping so in this way it will execute when a pass is done when this for loop will out of the range it will execute this gap is equal to gap truncated division 2 so now gap becomes 2 okay again it will execute and it will continue the execution and it will sort the elements okay so this is about the shell sort program so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care